My wife wanted me to explain suppressors to you all today, and so I guess we'll do that just to make her happy. So we have many different suppressors. There are some that are better than others. Others are better than others in certain aspects. You have to decide what's going to be the best for you. I have went to Silencer Co. because of the price of their components seem to be a little bit cheaper. Like uh, their piston housing is $129 for the Charlie series and then the piston is $70. Where if you look at the dead airs, they're a little more than that. Or sure fires, they're a little, little bit more than that. We'll get into more of that in a little bit though. What we have here is the Blackhawk Barrage 556 can. This is specifically for 556 and lesser calibers. Don't shoot rim fire through it. Pretty much just stick to 556. This is the first can I bought. I bought it simply because of weight. It's super light, short, and it works well on a pistol. It doesn't work as good though as this can. This is the Omega 36, or the Omega 300, sorry. This is hands down my favorite can. Still fairly lightweight. It um, is super universal. It's rated for um, 300 Win Mag on down the line. Uh, this can actually suppresses 5.56 better than this can does. And uh, hands down, my favorite. The Dead Air Nomad is actually slightly quieter than this can, but uh, uh, I just don't care for the aesthetics. But I've still got a Dead Air Nomad sitting in prison just because I can't have, you know, a can that's not the quietest. This is the Omega 36M. This can is actually quite remarkable. It is super utilitarian. You can shoot 9mm Luger, 338 Lapua, on down to uh, 5.56 out of this can. We have tested this on a plethora of stuff, uh, including 9mm and 338 Lapua. Um, this here is the Harvester 338. This can is you can put it on other calibers, but it really doesn't suppress very well. It works really good for 338 Lapua. I chose the Silencer Co. 338 Harvester, just overweight. I was really torn between Thunder Beast, who offers zero uh, impact shift, point of aim impact shift, and uh, but their cans are quite a bit heavier. Um, they're an awesome company to deal with. I'm really, really thinking about buying a Thunder Beast next, if the wife lets me. Um, I run direct thread on my 338 Lapua can, just because it's going to be more accurate that way. I did notice a little impact shift, but this can is probably a half pound lighter than the Thunder Beast can. The neat thing about Silencer Co. is you can buy the ASR mounts or adapters. They simply screw in. They just screw in. They come with a tool to tighten it. I'm not going to tighten it. I actually bought an ASR mount so we could test these two cans on my 338 Lapua. And it's really fast threads. Put it in, you tighten it, and then you lock you lock the ring, and that's what holds it onto the host. Super simple. Dead Air has the chemo mount, very similar, except for it kind of ratchets on. And uh, their chemo mounts are actually pretty expensive, and uh, I think they're really heavy. They take really light cans, and then it seems, and, and there's no science behind this, so this is just what it appears to me. Um, and it seems like it's heavier. Now the dead air guys are going to be like, no, 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 my dead air can is better. I, I really don't care. As long as you're shooting suppressed, that's all that matters. I like it, things quiet. So then we have... The Sparrow. This is Silencer Co. Sparrow. This works great on pistols, does not work very good on rifles. Um, I actually just 
bought a dead air mask as of this week and that suppresses 22 long rifle better uh, than this can does this works really good on a pistol doesn't work that great on rifles and this is probably silencer co's number one selling can if i had to i guess uh this can was number one can sold in america last year and this can here is number one sold can in america this year the neat thing about this can is you can run in two different configurations long and short This unscrews, I'm not pulling the tool out of the box. It screws on here, you run it in short. And then here we can break this housing apart. There's a little ring you gotta pop out. This sits inside and now you can suppress your pistols. It's super simple, super easy. A uh, couple of things you need to think about is, there is three different things that they test cans with. One is noise reduction, other is um, uh, frequency, and I think it's gigahertz or something else. I'm probably wrong. You guys will tell me if I am. Um, and all these companies have super strong benefits. Um, we've even tested the, the Pole Boy cans. They're $200, and I mean, they, they did really good. Only problem, the one reason I don't own a Pole Boy can is because they're extremely heavy and I'm getting old and I'm... I like things light. Um, if you look here, this is what your baffles look like when you get the can. They're nice, new, and shiny, not, you know, crowded up and junked up like this. Um, they're, uh, that little slot is to help the gases, um, and it's called fluidity as the bullet travels through and the gases move through the chambers. This is what helps keep everything quiet, kind of like the muffler in your car. A uh, couple of things you need to understand is when you are suppressing an AR-15, um, you have to figure out gas litigation or else it's just like cat piss in your eyes. Uh, it's terrible. I, I prefer the Radian Raptor Suppressor Ready Charge Handle and a superlative adjustable gas block. Uh, the guns we tested with pistons, um, pistons are great for gas litigation, but they're terrible for noise. It seems like they're extremely loud with the noise um, coming out of the gas piston as opposed to the, the you know, the, the gas bleed off. If you don't do that, you're adding to it the dwell time, which means the bolt, the bolt blows back and then you still have excess gas coming back and out the charge handle to your into your face so if you can figure out your gas litigation your gold um and then all you got to figure out is your host um these cans they're not registered to a particular rifle when you buy them you just get a tax stamp that says you paid two hundred dollars and uh you know it, you can put it on any host these cans have been on a plethora of hosts when uh we're testing against my buddy's cans uh, my friend's cans you know we don't worry about it because we just have the tax stamps and that's the most important part um when making your decision uh, I would strongly advise that cost not be your issue. Um, remember, you get what you pay for, and there are some fantastic companies out there. Um, I just chose to go with Silencer Co. Just because they seem to be light. Dead Air does offer some lighter cans, and I know there are some other companies out there. For precision guns, you can't beat Thunder Beast. They are extremely good cans uh thunder beast in general is just a fantastic company to work with and same with silencer co so here's some guns we grabbed out of the safe laid on the floor as you can see we're set up with multiple asr mounts this is the muzzle brakes three prongs the flash hider 
and direct thread. Um, I didn't bring the direct thread can over, but just so you, you see how easy this is, this is an AR10 308 right here. This is the Omega 300. It simply, whoops, screws on, locks over, and now the can is locked. It's not going to come off. One thing to remember when you're mounting your can, don't ever use a crush washer. It could knock your mount off sideways, which leads to baffle strikes. And trust me, you don't want to spend the money to have that done. This can will work on every gun you see here. This can here, oh, this will not work on this gun. This can here will work on this gun. Um, once again, just on your three prongs, you know, just grabbing random weapons, random hosts, and it's locked on. You want to make sure that you clear this one here is super tight, kind of makes for some issue, but this one here, I don't know. This one aesthetically isn't as pleasing. So just a side note, if you don't want to mess with uh, gas pressures, dealing with an adjustable gas block and all that, OSS makes a pretty good can. It's, it's uh, very user friendly as far as you don't have to mess with uh, uh, your gas blocks or anything the way the can works you fire the round it's got little raceways the hot gases run through the raceways and exit through the front alleviating all the pressure in the back very good can not the quietest not the lightest um, but if if you don't want to mess with stuff that's a very good option another thing to keep in mind is that when you're shooting through these cans they get hot super hot my wife gets mad at me because i tend to steal her hot pads because one hot pad doesn't seem to be enough to transfer from host to host to host to host in, in also when you're purchasing a can you need to uh, keep in mind what it's going to take to service the can silencer code dead air um, and i'm sure a handful of other enclosed cans uh, you don't clean them or if you choose, fill them a break free, let them sit for a couple hours, any CLP, let them sit for a couple hours, and then shoot and all the nasty crap and crud and grime comes off it. Um, those, those cans that you're supposed to service, just keep in mind they take forever to do. Um, in my 22 can, I coat everything in anti to keep to keep them clean and then it's a pain in the ass to clean the, the anti-seize out. Uh, if you have any questions that I can answer, do that comment thing and my wife will let me know that you guys want to hear more stuff. Well, thanks for watching.